Hi, I'm Dr. Fallon Doss, owner of Doss Audiology and Hearing Center. Today, I want to have a conversation about safe listening practices. Hearing loss is one of the most common health conditions in the world, and the World Health Organization estimates that 1.1 billion young people are at risk of developing hearing loss due to use of personal listening devices, as well as excessively loud recreational activities. So today, I have a couple young people here, and we're gonna talk about healthy hearing. Okay, so today I'm joined with by some very special guests. To my left, I have... Alyssa. And how old are you, Alyssa? Seven. And to my right, I have... Christiana. And how old are you, Christiana? I'm 11. All right, so raise your hand if you have a tablet. Okay, good. Now, raise your hand if you have like a gaming system that you play games on. Okay, good. And raise your hand if you use headphones with your tablet or gaming system. Okay, good. So how do you feel like you keep the volume on your headphones? Loud, soft, medium? I keep mine pretty high. Pretty high, you just like the way it sounds? Yes. And how about you? Pretty loud. Pretty loud? Yeah, you just like it louder too? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so do you guys think you have pretty good hearing? I don't think I have very good hearing. You don't? No. Oh, man. And do you think you have good hearing? Yes. Yeah? You think you hear pretty well? So both of you had your hearing tested today. Um, and there are a lot of kids that haven't had a hearing test. And so they might not know what to expect or be a little bit nervous about it. So can you just tell us what it was like to have your hearing tested today? Uh, what did we do first? They looked in our ear, and then they checked if our eardrum was working. And then what did we do after that? Maybe repeat some words or? Yeah. So how did that work? So you said the words, and then you kept saying them in softer and softer and softer until, like, we couldn't hear it. Yeah. And then did you listen for some beeps, too? Yeah. Yeah. And did those get kind of soft? Yeah. So what we're doing is we're looking for the softest words that you can repeat and the softest sounds that you can hear. And we take all of that information and we put it together on a graph called an audiogram. And that tells us exactly how well you hear. Um, so did anything we do today hurt? No. 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 Um, did it take a really long time? No. no. And it was actually kind of fun sometimes, right? Yeah. So getting your hearing tested is no big deal. <laughs> All right. Okay, so now, girls, I want to know what is your favorite sound? My favorite sound is the sound of the ocean. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, my favorite sound is the sound of my kids laughing. Uh, what's yours, Lissa? My favorite sound is the sound of when you squish the slime. Oh, that's a really good one. That's a fun sound. Um, so how would you feel if you couldn't hear your favorite sounds anymore? I'd be very sad. Yeah, that would be pretty sad. How about you, Alyssa? Very sad. Yeah. Well, what if I told you that if you keep listening to those headphones at a really loud level, it's going to cause what's called noise-induced hearing loss. And once you get noise-induced hearing loss, it's permanent, meaning that it never goes away. So you wouldn't be able to hear all your favorite sounds anymore. And it's completely preventable. We just need to turn down the music and the sounds in our headphones. Okay, so Christiana, I wanted to talk to you specifically because you've had a lot of difficulty with your ears, haven't you? Yes. So you've had lots of ear infections, a couple sets of tubes, you even had a hole in your eardrum that had to get repaired. Um, and so sometimes when your ears aren't cooperating, you don't always hear as well as you should. Is that correct? Yes. So tell me, how does it feel and how does that impact you when you're not hearing well? It's very stressful, especially at school. Yeah, tell me about that. Like, whenever my teacher is talking to me, trying to explain something, whenever, like, I can't hear her, it, I'm, like, too scared to, to ask her to repeat it. Oh, no. Um, and how about when you're with your friends? I don't say anything because I... I like nervous and I don't want to get made fun of because you maybe heard the wrong thing and so you don't want to like laugh when you're not supposed to or 
or repeat something incorrectly or have to ask them to repeat. Yes. Yeah. So it's just kind of stressful when you don't hear well. So as parents, we, we really need to pay attention to things as simple as ear infections. While they seem really common, uh, they can affect our kids' hearing. Christiana is now 11 and still battles chronic middle ear issues and ear infections, and her hearing fluctuates up and down. And so we want to pay attention to that and make sure that we are getting regular hearing checks if your child has a history of chronic ear infections. She has a fantastic ENT and audiology support, and so we manage it as it goes. But even at the age of 11, she recognizes that not hearing well can impact your overall uh, well-being. So thank you for sharing that with us, Christiana. Good. Okay, so we're here today with, what's your name? Jane! And how old are you? Five! Very good. And we want to find out, <laughs> how, how do ears, ears hear? hear? So how do ears hear, James? Uh, it go, the sound waves go in the ear. Uh-huh. Then it go, then there's an eardrum. Then it, and then, then it moves the bones. Uh-huh. And, and their names are Stavius, uh, Malleus, and uh, Aegis. Uh huh. And then what happens after it goes past the bones? It goes in the oval window. Oh, okay. And then where does it go from there? Those bones hit uh -huh. the oval window and make some shake. Very good. Then they tell does it. And there's electricity. They say that it can make a a, a signal. A signal. And it tells the the brain ear. what it heard. Yeah. And that's how ears, ears hear. hear. Thank you, James. You're welcome. Okay, so now the girls and I have three tips to help protect your ears. Number one, turn it to the left. So that means we want to turn that volume dial to the left. The volume on your listening devices needs to be no more than 50%. Number two, take listening breaks. Good. So we want to take frequent listening breaks. For every hour that you're listening to your personal device or with headphones, we want to take a five minute listening break. And then number three, use hearing protection. So if you're going to be in a loud situation like helping with yard work or going to a loud concert or movie, put in some earplugs or some earmuffs to help protect your ears. So that's all we have for you guys today. Hopefully you learned a little bit about protecting your ears and healthy hearing. Comment down below if you have any suggestions for future shows. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.